I'm not a massive punter, but I do enjoy a flutter on the Melbourne Cup. And a couple of years ago, there was a horse called Alessandro Volta, horse number 22, at about 50 to one. And another horse called Viewed, that was paying similar odds. We have a budget of $200. And on the morning of the Melbourne Cup, you'll sit around, everyone's got $50 that they can bet in any way they want. The boys normally throw a couple of dollars on each horse. Me and the missus like to put it on something that's gonna pay a little bit more. So everyone gives me their instructions, I write it all down, then I walk into the TAB. I look sideways, down and up. Find Ramwick, Bunbury, Eagle Farm, and then the Melbourne Cup. And punters all around look like they died and gone to heaven, filling in their betting cards for Flemington, race seven. I stood there for a moment and was all set to begin when I got a text that simply read, 22, we'll win. I've sent one back, Alessandro Volta, that the one? Yep, he said, and that was it conversation done. Now my wife gave me instructions to put 50 bucks on viewed but I was feeling lucky in a winning kind of mood so I've listened to my mate whacked 200 on the nose then race time came the gates flew back and I thought well he goes. Midway through I'm going nuts I'm cheering for my steed. Alessandro Volt has hit the front he's in the lead. I was on the verge of sticking 10 grand in the bank and my wife would have my good mate and my recklessness to thank. We turned for home, we're looking good, and then disaster struck. I watched my horse run out of steam as I ran out of luck. The others in the field closed in and I just stood there stunned. As Viewed came through to win the race at 42 to one. No sooner had he passed the post, my phone began to ring. Hello, I've said. My wife screamed out, we've won the bloody thing. My hands were trembling nervously. My voice was filled with fear. Yes, I know, fantastic news. Congratulations, dear. Well, my guts had turned to jelly and I felt like being sick. I had to find 2000 bucks and had to find it quick. My check account was overdrawn. My mates had done their dough. Between us, we'd bet thousands and had bugger all to show. So I've slowly made my way back home. I've walked through our front door. I walked into my lounge room and near fainted when I saw three new dresses, two pairs of shoes, complete with all the trimmings, as my wife announced she'd spent all bar $10 of her winnings. Well, I didn't have the heart to say I never placed a bet. That look of joy upon her face is one I can't forget. My wife just sat there smiling, and it was a rare sight to behold. But now for every Melbourne Cup, I just do as I'm told. <laughs>